John K. Mr. John K. Shreveport guy from Americans for Prosperity, Louisiana chapter. Okay, you were doing a pretty good job being John Bell down there, by the way. Mm-hmm. Um, but now I want you to return to your normal, here's what I think about the state budget mode. Yeah. I- and I want you both to comment on this. Brian Salvatore, who was in last week, Democrat candidate for House of Representatives. Here's what he posted last evening. Governor John Bell Edwards in town. He turned a $2 billion annual budget deficit that Bobby Jindal left him. Didn't he vote for six of eight Jindal budgets? But that's not the point. He turned a $2 billion annual budget deficit into a 300, starting to get a little hot down there, into a $300 million budget surplus in three years. Kids, comments. Mm. Go ahead, John. Uh, surplus means they took too much of our money. So last 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 summer, I think it was last summer, right? Yeah, last summer, uh, Representative Alan Seaball, who shameless plug, will be speaking at our event at Red River Brewery tonight at six thirty p.m. Free admission. In Visit Motor my City. Twitter East handle. Bank, by the way, yeah, uh, it's in Shreveport. What? Oh, Red River Marshall Street. Street. Oh, I yeah. apologize. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I was yeah. thinking about uh, my friend Ronnie Ramirez owns the mm-hmm. building. Yeah. 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 Uh, go to my Twitter handle, just sign up. It's free. Come visit with us. He'll be speaking tonight. He last, last year kind of filibustered at the end of a legislative session and shut it down and got a bad rap for it when they were trying to solve a three, four hundred dollar, three hundred, four hundred million dollar budget, uh, deficit. Fast forward, they passed the tax and a, and a follow up special session, but history has proven Alan Seaball to be right that we didn't need to pass the tax because now we have a $300 million dollar surplus so we have too much money Mm -hmm. in the state we have to figure out how to spend it unfortunately we don't really have to figure out how to spend it but you get my point so the surplus just means they raised that half penny sales tax almost half penny sales tax and they shouldn't have alan seaball was right i hate to break it to the people who don't like alan seaball doty all the folks i called that trinity of no yeah so they were right they they were correct raymond cruz don't want to leave him out they will they'll all three be there this evening uh looking forward to it it's gonna be a great time but they were right Uh, it wasn't just that they were standing there and and not willing to negotiate and and do their jobs whatever however they want to frame it up on them they were correct they we didn't need to raise the taxes we didn't need the money and now the governor's going around the state bragging about a surplus, but that just means he raised a tax unnecessarily on us. A surplus is nothing to brag about. Balancing a budget is a good thing. Uh, a surplus, in my opinion, is not a good thing. The money should go back to the people of Louisiana where it belongs. How okay, times, the, the, wait, wait, me, wait. How many times have you said that? How yeah. many times have you said precisely Give me my money back. what John said? Mm-hmm, all the time. I've got this lovely young lady with the Baton Rouge Chamber of Commerce who's got me in a little tizzy this morning. Who is talking about uh, infrastructure projects for South Louisiana and that we really need to focus on that and raise the gas tax to focus on infrastructure in South Louisiana. Do you know how we love to hear that up this way? I think we need to focus on infrastructure across the state, but the Baton Rouge area chambers speaking in code what they mean and actually they say it on their release they want a gas tax raise that's their point number one Mm -hmm. raise the gas tax and index it to inflation which means you have permanent increases constantly it never stops what Uh, what are they shooting at how much how big an increase do they want they want around a 20 cent increase to start and then they want to continue going up from there so but here's the thing and i think i told you all this last time i was here they brought the gas tax bill this past year. I went to lunch with Representative Steve Carter, and I gave him an idea. I said, why don't you just put it on the ballot and let people vote on it this fall? If you believe the people in Louisiana support a gas tax, give them a chance to vote on it. They wouldn't do it. And the reason they wouldn't do it is they know that it would have failed at the ballot box. So they drove it to its death in the legislature, hoping to bring it back up this coming year. So now what Baton Rouge Area Chamber is doing is they're asking whoever the governor is next year in the legislature to have a special session to raise the gas tax. The governor, sitting governor, hasn't taken a stance on the gas tax. I would like to hear all the candidates come out and say, what are you going to do in your first year? Are you going to call a special session for a gas tax increase or not? Mm-hmm. I would challenge all of them to come on the radio, come on where, go on whatever show, and say what their plans are as far as the gas tax and is the, concerned. The, the irony of all the Dems wanting that increased gas tax, the irony, if you will, of that to me is, is and I think it was originally Troy Carter down New Orleans way who was a big proponent, the point is that that the same politicians 
that want to increase minimum wage to twelve, fourteen, fifteen dollars an hour are the same ones who want to raise the taxes on the people that they say they want to help. We want you to make more money, but we want to turn right around and take it away from you again with an increased gas tax. So, but look at the gas tax. They they wouldn't pass it in an election year this year. They wouldn't even take a vote on it in a committee this mm -mm. year because it's an election year. But now they want to bring it back next year, the year right after they get elected. That's hiding from voters. Mm -hmm. If you're proud of it and you think it's something we need to do in Louisiana, then do it in an election year. Don't hide. Don't come in and do it the following year right after you get reelected.